Winners round one of the global finals. So I see Abu Dhis has locked in King and Kim already. Yeah, King, Kim, and Mature. Uh, definitely a, a team of uh, not very common characters. Kim, a very underrated character in my opinion right now, uh, as we saw most uh, most recently in a in an event where both ET and Xiao Hai failed to make top three, and the grand final had two Kim. But that's but that was there. This is here. Uh, Shune, Hyder, and Leona. Now you want to talk about characters that have made. A lot of people upset in this version of the game. Hyder, absolutely powerful zoner in this version of the game. His projectile has a property that no other has in the sense that it knocks you back, it knocks you down, regardless of where it hits you, whether on the ground or in the air, which resets the zoning situation in Hyder's favor very, very favorably. Very, it's just a huge advantage he has. He doesn't have necessarily the greatest normals for maximum conversions, but he manages to work it out just fine. Leona versus King to start out. King, a powerful zoning character in her owning right, in her own right, uh, with a Venom Strike, of course, still very strong, despite losing the air Venom Strike she was so famous for in 13. First opening here for Freezer, it gets a decent amount of damage. Earring trying to come in behind it. Oswald A struggling to establish spacing in his favor so far. And of course, Leona, she can keep out King's projectiles very, very well. And that is what uh, Oswald Ace is going to be facing as a challenge. The pressure here, and plus frames into Leona's very fast crouch C. Leona's D version of the slash there, uh, not the fastest move, but it does give her very good frame advantage and allows her to continue pressure with extreme ease. Now, Mature coming in. Uh, another strong space control character, if a bit unorthodox, since she uses a very slow yet very large projectile for uh, for her style of zoning, as well as having her command jump, as you saw right in the beginning of the round. There it is. If she's managed to establish that, there it is. That's very good for getting over Leona's projectile. Max mode activated for Freezer. Good place with there. Overhead gets the knockdown. Pressure here by, by Freezer. Mature, not the strongest character defensively without Max mode active. She's a character who benefits a lot from raw max mode activations, but Oswald Ace has not gone to that route yet. There it is. There it is. Her EX projectile, very, very powerful for immediately closing down the space. Her EX DP as well, a strong defensive tool, very, very safe at most distances, although throwable there or with punishable, as Freezer just showed us. Plants up projectile. Oswald Ace getting a little bit impatient here. Oswald Ace already down to just his Kim, a character who isn't great at dealing with uh, projectile play, so he will have to do a lot of hard work to get back into this. Because even getting past Leona and Shine, he still has to worry about Hydern in the back. There's a hard knockdown. Another, <laughs> another one off the overhead. Oswald Ace has not uh, been very accurate with blocking those so far. I don't think he's blocked one. Trying to find the opportunity. Almost got punished there. Far standing D. One of Kim's best normal forming up max mode, but very whiff punishable. Look at that frame advantage being established, but Oswald Ace didn't bite that time. Yeah, that's not going to get him much here. Freezer is showing a lot of patience. The main thing he needs to do. Guard cancel CD to get the corner situation. There's the overhead. He needs to convert this. No, too quick. He needs to wait for that juggle. He needs to wait for that to juggle on both hits. Oswald Ace completely dropping that opportunity. And yeah, he got a little bit too impatient there, running right into that earring. Freezer just keeping his calm as he tends to do. Very controlled style of play, that's really what he's known for. All right, and uh, Oswald Ace has elected to go into order select. And Freezer can reselect his order here by rule. And he has gone for Shune up front. Maybe he's sensing a bit of uh, weakness in the defense of Oswald Ace and he's trying to go for a uh, rushdown style instead with Shune so that he can tr try potentially to run him over to try to uh, maybe abuse Oswald Ace's nerves a little bit. 
And Media Tornado Kick opener, gutsy at a distance where if blocked would definitely have been huge trouble for Oswald Ace. Sanity is still one of King's best normals despite not being able to hit Croucher. It's very, very fast. Great hitbox. Uh, that was a rough instant overhead placement there by Oswald Ace. And he's put himself into the corner on that landing punish. And all of a sudden, this round is looking very, very bad for Oswald Ace after it was a good start. He used a close D, what seemed like a close D throw option select to try to throw Freezer into the corner, but King's close D with a lot of active and recovery frames, so he put himself in a situation where he was just whiffing himself to die. Freezer already with the advantage and his Shune pick definitely paying off so far. Oh, there's the opening for Oswald Ace. First chance he's really had to establish any, any advantage. Gets a throw. He's doing a lot of early jump normals. I'm not sure what he's potentially reading with those. Uh, but he's putting himself into a lot of trouble with that and costing himself advantage. Oh, the, the EX missing the second hit there. Strange situation there for Freezer. Yeah, and that's the big buff Shunei got in 3.0. Being able to cancel that on block, allowing him to continue pressure. There's a knuckle. It's only minus 5 on block, so it doesn't really put Shunei into that much trouble from afar. More even round here, but Oswald Ace needs a character kill. Ah, uh, there's a super cancel. Gets caught late in the hop. Trini's Knuckle, one of the best uh, things about it is that it's really good at catching stray movements, uh, late hops, back dashes, uh, back rolls, all sorts of things, back hops. And he can super cancel from that for some pretty decent damage, and Freezer recognizing the situation there. Pressure here by Oswald Ace. Gets cornered as Freezer rolls out of the corner. Hard knockdown. Safe jump situation here for a Freezer. Try to bait a DP maybe. And he's one, just one hit away from building meter. Got, got the knockdown, went for a roll mix up. Another hard knockdown. Relentless pressure here by a Freezer, but he keeps us cool even after Oswald Ace skips the corner. Ah, oh, there it is. That should be it. Gets a conversion for max mode. And that damage should be more than enough. Freezer with a double OCV win against